with 50 and Dope Talk TV is yours truly low key. Got John here with me, got Toby in the back playing some video games. We appreciate everybody that's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. If you're new to the family, welcome to the Dope Talk family. We're, we're glad to have you and we hope you stick around. But um, but yeah, man, today's a celebration, so we're gonna get right fucking to it. I'm lighting this doink, bro. Yeah. Episode 50, my Damn. nigga. Give me that, bro. Man. Give me fucking that, bro. 50 episodes. 50 bro. episodes, bro. Who, get the fuck out yo, of here. Yo, man, I just wanna let you know it's hard work, bro. I'm gonna let you know it, but it's, Fact. it's fun. I, I love it. I love the process. Uh, that's why I'm smoking on this show. Facts. Today. We smoking and we sparking you know, up today, guys. So special occasion. You know what I'm saying? We have a couple brews here too. We just, we chilling, bro. It's a celebration, man. People don't understand like the creatives out there that you know you have your own thing going. You understand how hard it is to keep it consistent. You know what I mean? Stay consistent yeah. through everything that you go through in life, because. People have lives, bro. Shit happens. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit happens in life, and you gotta you gotta do your job, bro. And this yeah. is how that's how we we view it. Like this is a job. This is a you job. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's a business. Facts, and, and we take it like <clears throat> serious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have to. If not, then no one else is gonna take it seriously too. You know nah, I mean? facts. Like, <clears throat> but yeah, man. Since we sparking up, bro, it's crazy how like you know. Me and you, we've been stoners for a little bit now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and the longer you, you're a stoner, you know what I'm saying? The easier it is to spot out another stoner. Oh, that's real easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's like a calling. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a, I don't know. They just give off certain vibes, you know? That it's like, it's like a chill vibe or just, you could just look at somebody. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I really bro. don't. It's like, I could just look at you and be like, you know what? I, I knew you smoked. You know? You either smoke now or you used to. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, for real. That's true. But yeah, no, nah, it's true, bro. Like, like you were talking about earlier, like you, you know, stoners hear certain sounds or hear certain things, oh, and yeah. we, you know, smell certain things, and we know what's up. Yeah. Like somebody that doesn't smoke might hear somebody, you know, clanking a grinder together, and they might not know what the fuck that yeah, is. Yeah, I was chilling in the backyard, chilling, you know, smoking. Next thing you know, I hear like a calling. It was basically like a signal, like a ching ching ching. You know, like one of the calling. yeah, it was a weed calling, and I was like, oh, you hear that? I was like, yo, he smoked. He grinding up some weed right Facts. now. He's like, damn. He started laughing. It's funny because it's, it's like, true. it's true. Like, yeah, bro, <laughs> you know like, what's up. Like, you know the sound. Like, that's a no, weed call. Bro, it, it was like, caca. I'm just glad yeah. that it's not like a hidden society like it was back in the day. Like, I feel yeah. like more people are open about it. More people are, you know, they let other people know like, hey, I smoke and shit. Because imagine growing up in like the 60s or something. Like, this shit wasn't accepted. Yeah. It's like, fuck, man. Yeah, that's trash. Like. Yeah, and people would look at you weird. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, it's a little bit more... People still do, but it's not as much anymore. It's it's, it's more socially accepted. Now that yeah. people understand that it's not going to fucking kill you. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, before, like, they had all these misconceptions, and that's really what fueled that shit. Exactly. But it's true, bro. Weed calling is a real thing, bro. Like, if you guys have ever experienced that shit, you go through it all the time, go down in the comments and let us know, you know, how you, how you pick out the fucking stoners in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's but true. yeah, man, heading straight into a, you know hip hop topic, bro. Mm. Two of the greats, oh, two yeah, of the greats yeah. went at it, bro. You woo, know what I'm woo, saying? Woo, woo. You That's know the is. big dog DMX yeah. And, yeah. And, and the other big dog Snoop woo, woo. Dogg. He's a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a little puppy and shit. Nah, nah, nah he's an OG too, man. Nah, listen, bro. Shout out to them, bro. Yeah. They they did their thing and they brought back some music that I'm sure a lot of people forgot about. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That they're like, damn, I forgot about this. This shit slot. Yeah. Like, but in my opinion, bro, I didn't get to watch the whole thing. But from what I saw, I saw about like, you know, like 15 minutes of it. From what I saw and the songs that I saw played from both of them, in my opinion, Snoop Dogg was winning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because he played, he played some shit already, like I, off I the just, rip. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He played Jen and Juice. Come on, yeah, man. Jen and Juice. Come I forgot on, that because we were talking about it. We were arguing back and forth. Yeah, yeah. we were having a little debate, guys, yeah. about like who was better, you know. But honestly, I mean, yeah, when you brought up Jen and Juice, I was like, ooh, that's DMX, a good song. DMX has done some amazing things, bro, yeah. in hip hop, and he's broken records. He's changed the culture, bro. Like he's done some of the biggest shows in front of the yeah. biggest crowds in yeah. the world. Yeah, it's true. But when it comes down to how well your music, you know. Like sounds twenty years from now, Snoop got him on that. Yeah, you know, like you hear certain DMX shit and you think it's cool because you're like, yo, this is my shit. Like yeah. I remember hearing this. Yeah, but the kids nowadays aren't jacking that shit. No, you know what not. I'm saying. People nowadays aren't jacking that shit. They're, they're leaning more towards the Snoop side of things because yep. 
like when you make your music timeless that's what it is it's timeless you can hear it 20 30 50 years from now and it's still going to give you the same feeling yeah you know what i'm saying it's like, true it's true we've been hearing that song forever and man yeah. i put it on what 2020 now and man, that's, that's still I a vibe was jigging, yeah bitch. i was jigging bobbing and you know what i mean i was in there bobbing and weaving bobbing <laughs> Nah, but for real, bro, that's how Tupac is. <laughs> nah, Tupac, yeah, like Tupac, Biggie, you know, like that's true. They changed the culture, they changed the game. There's a lot of greats out there that that changed music. Period. You know what I'm saying? Not just hip hop, but mm-hmm. but yeah, man, that's true. <clears throat> 2020, bro, it's, it's been a crazy year, bro. Yeah, and that's a-, <laughs> a lot of people are going through struggle right now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That's one. That's something that we wanted to talk about is the struggle before the success. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yep. the shit that goes on behind the scenes of, of certain things, like, like, bro, like people don't see everything that goes on in everybody else's life. Like, everybody's so focused on themselves. You walk into a room and you forget that somebody went through something before they walked into that room too. Uh-huh. Everybody's going through different things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's always struggle before there's su- success. Like, yeah, they only see the success. They don't see, yeah, you know the. The, the grind, the bro. The grind. They don't see the grind. They don't see the, and the struggle, the, struggle like, the, the sweat and tears, you know, that go behind all that, you know, like millions of dollars. Yeah, too, the you know? sacrifices. Like, you sacrifice time with yeah. your family. Yep. You sacrifice money. You know, you sacrifice fucking friendships, relationships to get to a better place in life. Yep. There's a lot of shit that you got to fucking do to get to a successful place in life that people don't even start to think about. Mm-hmm. They think that oh, just making more money or just whatever like that's it's like bro like you, you gotta you gotta align yourself with what you want to be you know what I'm saying show me your friends and I'll show you your future very true that's yeah. a fact like fact. you who you hang around says a lot about you yeah who you decided to talk to and pick up game from says a lot about you you'll get as far as the people you talk to that's a fact and that's what 50, I got that that's 50 a fact said. bro yeah. like you gotta talk to people that yeah. are smarter than you bro. That's why I talk to people that are smarter than me and they're in the position that I want to be. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, the books that I pick up, I pick up from people that are, you know, they're ahead in life, bro. And they read that and they, they felt that you could get some information from it and apply it to your life and it should work. And yep. it's true, bro. Like, when you start breaking certain books down, like The Richest Man in Babylon, like, bro, that shit gives you key clues. Key clues. Like, specific clues. Like, one of them is don't spend more than fucking 10% of your income of your income on a mortgage mm. period yeah like that's a very simple fucking thing that you could apply to your life and it could help you out in the long run yeah because the numbers but, don't lie right so it's like but it, yeah man it, that, that's just how shit goes that's true and everything does happen for a reason that's another topic that we we're gonna get into facts well. uh yeah everything that happens in your life negative or positive it has a reason for it you may not understand it now but Eventually, you'll come up and be like, there's okay, a lesson. Now. Okay, wow. You know what I mean? You'll yeah. learn from it. Yeah, exactly. There's always a lesson in everything, bro. Sometimes you get it immediately. Sometimes you get it 20 years from then. Yeah. And you look back, you're like, damn, I see why that happened the way it happened. I'm glad it happened that way. Yeah, exactly. But sometimes you're in the moment. And in the moment, bro, feelings are fickle, bro. They go, they come and go. You know what I'm saying? Like, feelings come and go, so you, you might feel a certain type of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like That's true. Feelings don't last forever, though. Yeah, bro, and that, that's something that people need to understand when it comes to a lot of shit. Like, like let's take a little detour. For example, love, bro. Love is a feeling, my nigga. Yeah. Just like being happy, just like being sad, just like being angry, <coughs> you know? Like, <coughs> those are all feelings, and feelings come and go. <coughs> that's yeah. why it surprises me when people are surprised that somebody's like, oh, I don't love you anymore. And they're like, what? Why? Why? Like, that bitch, because I just don't. I don't know. <laughs> I can't explain it. Now, facts. Like, I just like, want you to gone. get the fuck out my face. It's, gone. <laughs> it's done. It went. It's a divorce. It, ca- it came and went. It's a divorce, Ricky. Bro, it comes <laughs> and goes. <laughs> I'm telling know, you, for real, like, feelings come and go, bro. So, it's like. Yeah. You just never know. That's why I focus on my paper, bro. Yeah. I've been focusing on my, on my paper, my situation, and trying to progress in life, bro. Yeah. That love shit, bro, it'll leave you bro- broken on focus if you have the wrong one. The you know old, what I'm saying? Focusing on the wrong one. The older the older I get, I feel like <coughs> I feel like the more you could tell, like you just learn. You learn about love. Like the older you get, right? I feel like it's not always about the looks. 
You know, I'm really starting to get into that. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, yeah, you got to be physically attracted to the person to a certain extent. That's you know a fact. What I mean? No, no, no that's matter a fact. what, that's a fact. You can't just be fall in love with somebody that you think is ugly. Like, no, you really have to like love. Yeah, them. there has to be some level of attraction. Exactly, something. Uh, but it's not. I feel like I I met I met women that just they beautiful on the outside. You know, they have a body shaped like this bottle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But fact. the soda is flat. That's a fact. You, you see what I'm saying? That's a fact, the man. Soda flat. Not real shit, bro. If real fucking shit. Don't let that go over your head, people. You know what I mean? But I heard that from Nipsey. Yeah, it no, it, yeah. it's true, bro. Like, yeah. it, listen, man. Like, it, it's not about looks yeah. at all. Like, like if if you're <clears throat> whether you're a man or a woman that has a good head on your shoulders, you need to find a good man or a woman that has a good head on their shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta ha- you gotta match up. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you That's can't true. just. It, it doesn't have to be about looks. If they're, you know, they have the same work ethic as you, they have the same goals as you, they want the same things in a family and, and kids. Yeah. You know, if you want all that same shit, it doesn't matter if she's not a 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's who's for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, don't lose your opportunity. Because a lot of niggas, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. A lot of niggas lose their opportunity, bro. Yeah. They get mad. Get mad That's when a true. sniper comes in <laughs> and takes that shot. Bang! And Headshot. Takes it. She go, she gone. She's gone forever. She's gone forever. And now you you fucked. You crying. Twenty years later, with a beer belly in a garage with a Puerto Rican flag in the back. <laughs> Man, I get <laughs> thrown my way. She took it from me. She took it. You know, I'm telling them, telling my little cousins and shit. You don't fucking know. Nah, facts like nah, bro. They're like, damn, dude. <laughs> My mom <laughs> would have left you too. I would have left you too, man. <laughs> nah, bro, but it's fucking funny, bro, that you showed me that video earlier of the fucking ostrich eggs, though. Oh, man, I'm going to put the link down in the description, guys, because this is fucking crazy. A uh, fucking ostrich egg could feed 25 people. Who the fuck knew? Nah, this is fucking crazy. It's the size of my head. That's right? Literally. If, you turn, <laughs> if he turns around, that's what the ostrich egg looks like. I swear. <laughs> Oh God. I, if I if you take all my facial features and it's just a skin, I would look like an ostrich. <laughs> ostrich fucking egg. But yeah, it could feed a whole block, bro. The whole block is gonna be no, fed, bro. Bro, the it's, hood it, is eating. <laughs> the hood is fucking eating. Yo, bro, bro it takes one egg. They're they gonna be mad though, cause they're gonna take like two hours to cook. Nah, facts. <laughs> two whole hours sitting there waiting for one fucking egg to cook, bro. I'd be pissed. Nah, man. I'd be pissed, but I heard it's really good. Yeah, bitch, you better get up at six a.m. and start yeah. cooking that shit. Bro, I saw a video of an ostrich chasing somebody. Bro, and that ostrich just—I saw him too. He jumped over the fucking dog. dog right? Yeah, like yo, that yeah. dog was cool enough. That nah. nigga was not scared at all. He's like, "What the fuck is happening?" He like, probably knows them. They probably all grew up together and shit on a farm. Like, Facts, that you know is what true. I mean? He's probably like used to it. Nah, but that ostrich yeah. is gonna fuck that girl up. Yeah, she was, <laughs> <laughs> she was dipping the fuck. Yo, she thought yeah. that he couldn't jump. Yeah, she was fact, like, yo, that nigga was out. Yo, and he didn't even try. He's like, no, nah, man. <laughs> he just kept jogging. No, bro, like, ostrich. Why would you try to run an uh, ostrich? They run up to like 65 to 70 miles an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Bro, you're not winning against that fucking thing. It's, it's a like dinosaur, a, it's, it's like bro. a cheetah, bro. You're not running You're not running away from a cheetah. It's like, it's like a modern-day dinosaur. It's yeah. like a little fucking uh, pterodactyl or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know what yeah. my dinosaur is, but it's like a little fucking dinosaur chasing you around. Or Literally. A, I wouldn't want to fight a kangaroo. Bro, kangaroo, fuck you up. A kangaroo is not to play with, bro. They they'll they'll punch you and kick you. Bro, bro. and they have claws too that'll fucking cut you open. Them yeah. shits are not a joke. I'm pretty sure the fucking little baby will come out. Like and when try them to shits attack kick you, you, bro, they could gut you. Like them shits are not a joke, bro. You don't want to get into a fight with no wild animal. That's the, like yeah. humans, bro. We're really lucky that we kind of have a brain. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if not, if it was just straight hand to hand combat, we'd nah. be fucked by you animals. Have, you bro. ever see the people that go on the safari? On the fucking little golf cart, and they go through the fucking safari with somebody that will protect you, or whatever. And then you see fucking rhinos trying to fucking. And you come see in. a fucking cheetah jump through the window and <laughs> attack the driver. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? You're pissed. Yeah. You're stuck in the middle of a safari, you're stuck in a cage in the back of a truck. Nah, I ain't doing that. And your driver's mauled. <laughs> Clean the fuck out, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. You ever see those fucking videos, man? Like with the the tigers and shit. You know, they grew up with them their whole fucking life. Next thing you know, they're just, they got them. 
Yeah, and, they kill them. And they, they're just like, wow, everybody's just, bro, there's nothing bro, you can do. Out of here. I saw the Tiger King documentary, bro. There was a girl that got her arm bit off by a tiger, and she was back to work in like a week. I was like, <laughs> you got me fucked <laughs> up, bitch. If you think I'm going to be back to work in a week after this fucking tiger, just mauled my shit off, bro. You got me fucked up. <laughs> I don't even care if I lost a fucking eyebrow, bitch. Bro, bro, I'm, bro. A, I'm not coming back. I know. I'm not going back either. <laughs> <laughs> my shit just got mauled off by a fucking gonna tiger. Lie. I ain't going to lie to you. I fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. I ain't going to lie to you, man. Nah, bro. But to, to touch a little bit more serious topic, yeah, bro, yeah. before we go on the tangent. Um, yeah. It's crazy how, how you know, women have to deal with a lot of fucking bullshit that men don't have to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like crazy shit. Constant yeah. fucking hounding from other, you know, from guys. Like yeah. Like there's just certain things, bro. Like if you're really, if you're a really beautiful woman, like most guys aren't focused on what the fuck you have going on. They just want to see. You know what I'm saying? They just want to smash. Like there's so much stupid shit that girls have to deal with that men really don't. Yeah, seriously. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like when I was a little younger, like I grew up with, with a sister and shit, and I never saw it like that. I was like, yo, tighten up. Like you, you fucking tripping. But You'd it's like, right. yeah, but it's really not. not. Like, yeah. like they really go through different shit. They, yep. they're more prone to get raped and like just a lot of and shit. That, like, yeah, like me and you, like me and you, bro, could be walking downtown, bro, chilling, two o'clock in the morning. Nobody's gonna fuck with us. No. I mean, they might if niggas is like just trying to rob or whatever, whatever it is. But yeah. they might. But if it's Two, if we were two fucking hundred pound girls walking at two o'clock in the morning by ourselves, that's a completely different scenario. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like and heels and shit. Like nah, they gon' they gonna stalk you. Ass. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's different, bro. It's weird. They have to, it, like we just salute y'all women, bro, because y'all have to deal with a lot more bullshit than we fucking do when it comes to that shit, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me bro. wrong, there's women stalkers too. Oh yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? But it, like, it's for not sure. like. But that's usually after they get piped down, right? But yeah, but what are the chances of you getting raped by a woman unless you were getting drugged, drugged up or some shit? Like that's different. It's, but, it's unlikely. Yeah. but it happens. Compared to the to the women though, it's it's kind of like the women. No, no, it no, it's, to women. It, oh, no, yeah, it yeah. happens to women way a more. way larger scale. But it, it happens to guys too. Rape happens, man. Yeah, some people rape. <laughs> like people yeah. rape, dog. And, like, for, and like for women to even talk about that. To somebody, yeah, you like got, you gotta, you gotta be real comfortable. Like, like you gotta be strong, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because that's not something. Like, honestly, let, let's be real. It's like you know how many guys go to jail and get raped and don't come home and never say nothing about it. It's the same thing. You know, like the embarrassment you feel, bro. Like it, it's just like there's certain things in life that you don't want to talk about yeah. after you go through. Yeah, and that's yeah. one of them. Like that's why when women come out, it's like you can't be dismissive, bro. And that, that's the I feel like that's the problem with us as men. Where we we dismiss it and then we're like, well, what did you do? What were you wearing? And it's like at that point, it's like, what the fuck does it matter what she was wearing, nigga? Yeah. Like, like uh, that you shouldn't have touched her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Period. Yeah. End of story. End of story. Oh, she was provoking me with her outfit, bitch. You, uh, yeah. you have something wrong in your fucking head yeah. that made you feel like, comfortable enough to go and do something without permission. Yep. And that's never cool, bro. Yeah, yeah. Ever cool, bro. Yeah, that's not cool. That's not cool at all to put your hands on a woman or even just use it. You know what I'm saying? Even when there's alcohol involved. Like, Facts. That's like, why. You know what? Like, let's get let's get into this yeah, shit, bro. Let's get nice and saucy. This Tory Lane situation with Megan The Stallion, bro. Yeah. Allegedly, we're gonna say allegedly because nobody knows. Nobody was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Footage hasn't come out. Allegedly, <clears throat> he he shot. At or around or in the air by Megan the Stallion. So he shot her on accident. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Allegedly, she says that it wasn't on accident. That Damn. this nigga was really trying to hit her. Damn. Type shit. Allegedly. Damn. Guys, that's why I keep saying that shit. Because we don't know. But <clears throat> no, you that, don't play ties like into, that. that ties into what the fuck we're just talking about right now. Right. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly there was alcohol involved. Allegedly there was chilling. It was a it was a, a little house party at Kylie Jenner's house. Everybody got was chilling. Shit got a little wild. Niggas yeah. was tipsy. Yeah. A gun was drawn. Megan was hit in the foot. Supposedly. You see what I'm saying? It's just like at that point, bro. If 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 what people are saying happened really happened, 
which is you you try to shoot her. Yeah. You are the biggest bitch nigga on earth. Yeah, hell. The biggest bitch nigga on earth. Yeah, that's crazy, yo. To pull out a gun to, at a woman? I understand you a small ass dude and that's a I big ass give woman. A fuck. But that don't, that don't mean shit. To pull out a gun on a woman? It don't mean shit. You don't pull out a gun on a woman, bro. That's crazy to me. Uh, but that's that's wild. That says bro. a lot about him. You know what I mean? Facts. That says a I don't lot know about if him. I don't know if he could come back from this. I don't. But know. at the same time, who knows? Because Chris Brown came back like this when yeah. that shit happened with Rihanna. I don't. You think, know what I'm saying? I don't think people give a fuck. At the end of the day. You know and the I'm saddest saying? the saddest thing is, bro, is that a lot of women wouldn't back up. The women that go through that shit. Yeah. Like, oh, but he's sexy as fucking. He has money and this and that. And it's just like really, all of that justifies that nigga trying to shoot a girl. Like, okay, cool. I see where your mind is at. Like that's how shallow of a bitch you are, to where you feel like because a nigga's good looking and he has a certain amount of money that he could get away with certain shit. Yeah. When you know damn well if fucking uh, Billy over here, Billy at yeah, fucking Burger King over here beat his wife, nigga, you wouldn't feel that way about it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's it's yeah. just... It's crazy to me, bro. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's fucked up. But yeah, bro. To make a long story short, guys, we sympathize with you women. Shout out to you, you, you beautiful women out there that, you know... Or survivors and all that we're with you for real like don't don't ever real. think that there's you know all guys are the same there's guys out here that really support and really understand yeah what's going on out there yeah but um exactly no judgment no no you know what i'm saying yeah None facts because everybody goes through their own shit facts yeah, you know what i'm saying everybody has a life bro. everybody has a past yeah yeah real shit that's true real shit Yep. But yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody has been liking, sharing, subscribing, and came back for another video. Much love, episode fifty. Facts. It's a it, That's it, crazy. it's a fucking landmark for us, man. We're doing a damn thing. But yeah, guys, we love you guys, and we hope to see you guys again. Yep. Peace. Love.